Welcome to Lawrence, Kansas. And pay heed all who enter. And beware, these Jayhawks can play a little football, too. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 23 team in the country, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on another unit from the Big 12, the Kansas Jayhawks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Jayhawks will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense will take the first swing of the game. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fellow. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. They'll leave it with him. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Sanders. On target. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pulls it in. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. The Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. The marker is at the 35, and they need to get it there to convert third down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. They'll run the screen. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment, you saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Kansas Jayhawks offense will get the ball for the first time. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him, hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there off. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. He's got it down the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Fires to the wide out. Complete downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. 
Now the play fake. Throwing right. Makes a connection. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Great call by the offensive coordinator. He saw an opportunity to take a shot, to dial up one of these types of plays, and beautiful execution by the QB and receiver, and now they're set up in the red zone. The Jayhawks will snap it on first and 10. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. And the quick shuffle pass. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Looking to throw it again. Getting some heat. That's caught. It's Casey. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And the kick is good. And guys, we have ourselves a tie ball game. We're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. Looking for a man, it's Sanders. Quick strike complete. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got his man downfield. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. He's going to pass. Corks one deep. He holds it in, and nobody's close. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. They use those back-to-back -back explosives to set him up first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. Fires to the tight end. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. They relentlessly moved forward. Now it's getting down to Cases. Third and goal. Try to barge their way in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Bucks! And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. 
and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Looking for blockers. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this group. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Quickly complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Dropping back, it's Daniels. Just tried to ease it out there, and it falls incomplete. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. On second down, he'll let it fly. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They'll go to the air. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And the Jayhawks will call on their punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll bring it back. It's Horn. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drop. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help your quarterback out. He wants to throw. Gets it out quickly. All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get off the field? You got to keep defending. You got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. The Buffaloes have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. Tight coverage there. Did not stop him from making the grab. It's first and goal from the eight. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Caught in the backfield, it's Horn. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. They'll put the tight end in motion ahead he works his way ever closer all the way down to the one yard line they'll come to the line just one yard shy of the goal line on third down trying to surge it in they were all over him nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster it's fourth down and they'll try the field goal and the try is no good and the margin remains at seven after the miss. That's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. K 
Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. To the air, it's Daniels. He's got the tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Facing a third down and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught near the sideline, it's Casey. The Jayhawks will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Pulls and fires complete. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter, and already this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Here's the handoff. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. He'll do it himself. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Now on second down. Yeah, and a great job by the defense holding the line of scrimmage, playing downhill, playing responsibility football, making sure they shut down that option play. And they're going to lose yardage there. The defense completely owning the front. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Got him downfield. Oh, what a move. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. PAT unit on the field. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. He'll bring it out. It's Wilson, and the returner is stopped. The Kansas offense returns to the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Back to throw. It's Daniels. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. On the ground, it's Neal. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Got three on first down at second and seven. The run to the right. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Quarterback on the keeper. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Power football with the run. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. They get him stopped after a two-yard game. Ball is at the 17. Now he's looking to throw it. With the catch, it's Casey. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. He makes a grab. Oh, and he thought he had a chance to house it, but the defense tackles him at the three. First and goal and a great opportunity to slice into this lead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Rock Chuck Jayhawk. Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer to a drive there of 84 yards and close to deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Wide open downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And a really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. They'll throw it on first down. Working that left side now. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Offense gets set for second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. They'll try to run for it. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. The Buffaloes are rolling down the field. Right back to the well. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. On second down, they'll take to the air. And the quick shuffle pass underneath. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw at Sanders. Throws toward the end zone. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Dialing up a second down pass play. Who got his man? That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. He's looking to pass. 
And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Colorado. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. And the Jayhawks send out the punt unit. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. All wideouts, no backs. He wants to start this drive with a pass. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Bucks! When these offenses get in a rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. He'll bring it back looking for help. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Just over 20 seconds to play before halftime. They'll have it first and 10. Scanning the field, it's Daniels. Fires to the right. Already find a hole in that secondary. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Wants to throw on first down. Pressure coming. Pocket starts to collapse. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. After the big first down sack, it's second down. He's looking to throw. And it's picked off. He'll try to take it back. The 40, the 20, and he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Buffaloes! Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful.
He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, fellas, looks like we've got a great atmosphere there today in Lawrence. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's kick it back to the guys at Kansas Memorial Stadium. And the Buffaloes will boot it away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Huge deficit to start this third quarter. They just need to find something to build a little confidence. Yeah, it hasn't gone well. Um, when you're trailing by this much, this first drive, man, does everything matter and hinge on this? Because every possession in the second half is going to be critical. Yeah, and I think if you're on offense, why hold back? What are you worried about? Nothing went well in the first half for you, and at this point, trailing by as much as you are, throw caution to the wind, be aggressive, and let's just see what happens. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. From the gun, running back gets to give. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. The Jayhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to pass, it's Daniels. He finds his man. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Fires to the right. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Trying to find his man on first down. Buying some time. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. On the run, it's Neal. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They're bringing heat. It's complete. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. Kick is good. And the offense has three points to show for the drive. field goal drive they're set to kick it away he'll bring it back from inside his five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19 Colorado has the ball back and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense unloads to the right how about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion the incompletion brings up a second down. Leaves it with the back. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out to the 25. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Looking to throw at Sanders. Takes the easy throw in the flat. They were banking on the yards after the catch, but that went into the negative column. 
And I'm banking on the ball coming out quick. When, when I'm a defense and understanding third and short, understand they're going to throw the ball really quickly, try to make a play. The defense knew it, broke on the football, made a nice tackle to force a fourth down. And let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready. He'll keep it himself. Shows him the stiff arm. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. From the gun, the running back has it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Makes the grab. It's Arnold. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They go to the ground. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. And the Jayhawks look to keep this drive humming. To the ground. He's got it again. Nose is ahead to the 30-yard line, a pickup of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. Wait just a second. There is a flag on the play. If this is on the defense, it could be a first down. Can't make contact with the kicker like that. A costly special teams penalty. You've got to know your path in front of the kicker. Offense comes back on the field. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Flushed out of the pocket. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Jayhawks! Gotta start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. On to attempt the try. Smashes it through for the PAT. They went 54 yards on that last touchdown drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. They'll put it in play from the 27. First down. Quick release by the QB. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? to throw. It's Sanders looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Defense caught out of position and they get him down finally at the 38. 
Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Give to the back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll go to the ground. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Fires into traffic, picked off. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming with the pick. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled, you realize what's going on. Now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. And the spin move bought him a little time, just not a lot of yardage. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Looking downfield, it's Daniels. Quickly out to the tight end. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. The Jayhawks decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spot it. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. That's a 20. He's got space. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. How nice is it in an offense when you can generate explosive plays by running the football? You got to force feed this guy, man. He is an absolute game changer. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. They're going to ride this running back. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. The run from the shotgun. Powers through the defender. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. The Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. He just got rid of that one to save the down. Didn't see anything he liked. Plenty of time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Caught behind the line. It's Hunter. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Off play action. He looks that one in nicely. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. 
to the air. It's Sanders. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Kansas offense returns to the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They're setting up the screen. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth. Throws in a double coverage, and it's picked off. Trying to take it back. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. You need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead, David. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Good, right down the boulevard. And that lead grows even bigger. You've got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field goal. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Second and 10 here. Back to throw, it's Daniels. Fires to the wideout. It's complete! And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Looking to go up top on first down. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Coming after it. Quickly to the tight end. 
Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Going up top on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Casey. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? And the short completion brings up second down. He's looking to throw. A strike downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And the Jayhawks getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Got it! Touchdown, Rock Chalk! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Direct snap. He gets in there for the two-point conversion, and now we have a two-possession game. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner goes down. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Using the quick game. And the Buffaloes are stopped, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure? He's off to the races. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there in a similar situation with a lead like this. Uh, they'd definitely be running the ball at this point. Uh, they'd probably take their starting quarterback out of the game, potentially, but not this unit. They are still staying aggressive. They're still taking shots. They're just trying to light up the scoreboard. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he gets it back to the four-yard line. No farther than that. No gain on the play clock continues to run and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it touchdown Colorado and the stomping has commenced another rushing touchdown that's now two on the game this offense thought they could come into this one running the ball being the more physical team and they look like it right now They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 
So a drive there of 85 yards, and they finish it off with the score from the four. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Back to pass, it's Daniels. Flips it out in the flat. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Throwing right. Makes the grab. And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And this defense came to play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. Looking to pass on second down. Dumps it to the back. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. They're trying to get to it. Another incompletion on third down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And is going to be batted down. They'll turn it over on downs. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They move the tight end all over. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The give to the tailback. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. The Buffaloes will have it first and 10. They'll give it to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. 